Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and today we're talking about Neptune, the 8th planet from the sun that also has a very interesting past and a very interesting moon known as Triton. Today you're going to discover why we think this planet actually swallowed another planet a long time ago and what it all means for the existence of Neptune and other planets in our solar system. Welcome to What The Math. <laughs> So we know quite a few things about Neptune nowadays and we know that some of them are kind of hard to explain. One of those things is that Neptune actually is a very warm planet in comparison to other ice giants and in comparison to even gas giants. It seems to be actually releasing a lot more heat than it receives from the sun. And for the most part, it's kind of hard to explain, especially because it's located in a very far distance away from the sun where there shouldn't really be that much energy. It also has this very unusual moon that orbits against the flow. As you can see, it orbits in a completely different direction from everything else, and that's of course Triton. On top of that, Triton is also relatively large when it comes to different uh, other moons that are orbiting around Neptune, and it actually is even bigger than Pluto. What all of this means is that sometime in the past, Neptune may have actually experienced something very unusual, and as you can probably tell from the title of this video, it basically swallowed a planet. We're going to simulate this today, but first, let's go to our solar system, and I'm going to show you what uh, the historical past of our solar system may have been like. Now, everything may have been actually in a completely different position, and some um, objects like Ceres and Vesta may not have actually been around, but what we do think may have existed here are at least a few more planets. There might have been um, a, a terrestrial planet somewhere close to the sun. This was probably about two to three masses of Earth. And this particular object uh, is responsible for removing everything in between Mercury and the sun, which is why there's no asteroids, no other particles, no rocks there. Basically, there's nothing. And at some point, this object was actually very likely swallowed by the sun that we're going to do right now by basically moving it closer and closer to the sun until it gets completely swallowed. And then now it's gone. Now we also know that, or we also think that or okay, we don't just think, we're almost certain that there was at least one more gas giant that was actually kicked out of our solar system by the supermassive Jupiter. So this gas giant, we don't really know what it was called and what it did, but at some point in the past, it very likely uh, exchanged places with Jupiter and then basically escaped and became what what's... Um, what's known as a rogue planet. So basically ran out of our solar system, disappeared, and is probably somewhere out there in our galaxy, the Milky Way. Don't really know where, and we'll probably never find it. So that's planet number two that existed in our solar system. And we also think that on the outskirts of our solar system, specifically in the region where Neptune is right now, there was enough material to create another planet and we think that Neptune and Uranus were created much closer to the Sun, probably somewhere over here. They were then kind of kicked out to the outskirts by Saturn and Jupiter, but here there was another planet, and this planet may have also been what's known as a super-Earth, and it was about two uh, masses of Earth. Now this one is completely randomly generated, but it was basically somewhere here, and what happened uh, several billion years ago, specifically probably about four billion years ago, was this. There was this uh, unusual planet that was very Earth-like and probably very cold that we're just going to refer to as Old Planet. And, as you can imagine, it had a moon, and that moon was Triton. It was orbiting somewhere on the outskirts of our solar system, possibly around 30 astronomical units away from the Sun, and it was just, you know, being there and being all planetary-like. But then, one day, it received a guest, and this guest was, of course, the beautiful ice giant Neptune that also already had some of its own moons that were orbiting around it, but didn't have anything relatively large. Now, it just so happens that it passed very close to that old planet, and it very likely collided with it. 
At this point, Neptune was actually a nice giant. It was relatively cool. It wasn't really that impressive. And it had maybe something around 25 to maybe even 40 moons. A lot of them were small. When it passed uh, next to the old planet that we don't really have a better name for, it didn't just pass by it, it very likely completely swallowed it. And this did two things. First of all, the Triton now is going to lose a lot of its um, actual momentum and a lot of its velocity, and it's going to very likely assume the orbit around Neptune. Now, I don't know if it's going to happen here, but it might. But the other thing that this is going to do is, of course, give Neptune a tremendous amount of energy on the inside and give it that internal heat that it now has even today. We don't really know why it has internal heat, but it can only be explained if it actually received this collision. And then it also captured Triton, which then became its own moon. And when Triton was captured, it very likely also kicked out a lot of the other moons from the system and assumed its position around Neptune. So we're going to make sure that it's actually orbiting around Neptune by making sure that it has a circular orbit. And as you can see, it's it sort of assumed an orbit that's very different from, or I guess somewhat different from other moons. And that's essentially what happened several billion years ago. Now today we're almost certain that this is very likely how Neptune acquired both the moon Triton and, uh, oh, where's Triton? Oh no, we, no, it's still there. I thought we accidentally swallowed it. Anyway, so that's how the Triton moon was acquired, and also that's how Neptune became so much more warm than its um, very similar twin-like object Uranus, because Uranus is actually a lot more colder than Neptune, even though it's a lot closer to the sun. So, all in all, this kind of gives us an idea of what actually happened in the past in our solar system, and we think that there were at least three other planets that either got swallowed by the Sun, by Neptune, or got kicked out by Jupiter. So, well, that's really all I wanted to do in this video, and I wanted to kind of briefly talk about the history of Neptune, and try to explain how Triton came to be, and why Neptune is actually hotter than it should be. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, hopefully you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to subscribe, share this video with someone who enjoys watching space videos and wants to learn through video games, and I'll see you guys tomorrow, space out, and as always, bye bye.